Before we can start using Contact, we have to set up our audio and MIDI settings. There are a few ways to do that. One is to go to the Options button here, and that brings up all of our preferences. Or we can go under the Contact menu and choose Preferences, or use the shortcut Command Comma. Now let's take a look at the Preference window. You'll see there are lots of different things to control contact, and we'll be covering some of these later. But right now, let's go to the Audio tab. The first thing I'm asked is my driver and device. This is the particular audio interface I'm using. And then sample rate. Now, if you're running this standalone, you probably want this set to 44.1, maybe 48. If you're running it with other machines in your studio, you want to make sure everything's at the same sample rate, and ideally you've clocked them all to the same clock. Now keep in mind, any samples you load will be converted to the sample rate, so we don't have to worry about what your samples are at. Now let's talk about latency. Latency is the difference between the time I press a key on my keyboard and the time the sound plays back. Now why wouldn't I want that very short? Well, the problem is the shorter you make the difference, the more the computer has to work, and you oftentimes will have pops and clicks. And I'll show you a little example. We're going to set this down to 32 samples right now, the smallest latency amount. Hear all that crackling? That's not good. That means the computer is working too hard. On the other hand, if I bring it all the way up, well, I won't have any crackling, but I'll have 24 milliseconds of difference between the time I press the key and the time I hear the note. And that's a little cumbersome when you're playing in a part. So I suggest that you start around 512, see if you have any dropouts, and if not, you can gradually lower it over time until you start getting dropouts, and then you'll find out the ideal latency setting for your computer. Now under the MIDI tab, we have all the MIDI devices that we have on our computer, and I have a lot here. So we want to tell Contact which MIDI devices we're going to be using to play Contact. In my case, I have a keyboard connected to port 1 of a MIDI interface called the MIDI timepiece, and I've set that here to port A. Now in Contact, we can specify four different ports or four different inputs, and each one of those has 16 channels. So in effect, you have 64 channels of MIDI that you can use to control Contact and you could potentially assign each one of those channels to some different instrument in your contact rack. So for example, you might have one keyboard playing on port A and controlling a bass, and a second keyboard controlling a lead sound. Now the Outputs tab lets me send MIDI from contact through a MIDI interface to some other device, and we won't cover that right now. Most of the time you can just leave that all off. And once that's all set up, we should be good to go here. Let's make sure we have a sound. Ta-da! 